Alright guys, in continuing gang stalking and false enlightenment, we can see that the argument of race relations can actually better be existentially defined as a dialogue for species in the hypothetical. We see that race relations in this country as well as around the world has never come to an agreement in feasibility because the powers that be would not have us as, as a human umbrella to exist in this way the works of the enemy of Christ is division okay so let's talk about why the spiritual nature of the human umbrella uh, can best be defined by an argument based on species because we see that there can ultimately be no species relation among the reptilians and those of the human being, the individual human being. Now we see that th the spiritual war is a war for the mind. The what? The scriptures say this is a this Satan Satan has a war for your mind. He wants your mind, okay? This is what is known, I believe, as the scalping of the soul. They want your mind, okay? But the why, the why is another, is the existential question that I'm going to go right into right now. And that's the fact that the brain, the physical brain of this carnality is an apparatus which resonates uh, to a specific life measure, if you will, a specific resonant, a specific vibration. Now, when a physical brain resonates from a genetic standpoint in this carnality to a spiritual standpoint of another source, say the Antichrist spirit or the R complex of this physical, the reptilian part of the brain of this physical carnality resonates with that of the Antichrist source or Antichrist spirit, um, you will essentially have an understanding based on where the unspiritual aspect of what we might discern as a, a different type of human will resonate with the Antichrist spirit and vice versa where the human being um, will will have the physical apparatus of the brain resonating with that of the Holy Spirit or the aspect of, of God God delineation in, in his or her existence. All right. Now the same goes, and that's why the, I believe the race argument is better defined as a species argument. Okay? Now, since we have so many subspecies of the human umbrella accommodating what is a white structure, or in a sense, the white structure is being used, the, the human essence, the soul essence of, of, of this white umbrella, if you will, of humanity, because we're really trying to look, we're trying I'm, I'm just using the white human being as an example because it is the one that's really being attacked at this point all right so anything that doesn't go well up the structure of control will not go well at the bottom of the structure and so you see the bottom of, of, of the human umbrella and the the human being at the bottom being used by those at the top the powers that be masking themselves cloaking themselves selves in in this white ideology and really this isn't the way it is from the perspective of the individual white human being and the same goes for all other uh, races and, and, and species uh, within those uh, uh, measures of, of culture, color, religion ethnicity Okay, we've talked about the bloodline uh, duality before but this is a little more specific into why certain genetics can receive either the only the Antichrist spirit or the Holy Spirit at this point, all right, and why this uh, why the argument of race relations will never be truly solved or understood unless we put a species component to it. So the the open ended question that I'm going to pose to you right now is something that is an important existential question to ask: is when from an observational point of view, when you as an individual look around and you're looking. You're, you're existing your life in this carnality, in this dimension. 
do you see a world that accommodates the individual human being, uh, the individual human essence, or a soul's witness by God? And the answer is no, because we are not the powers of be. The human, the individual human being, is not the center or the top of the control, the powers that be that control. Now, we do have a lot of players, minority groups, attached to this, this, this human umbrella of, and trying to define so-called whiteness to the umbrella, to the umbrella of humanity, which are, are not the true authentic, or don't consist of the true authentic definition of what it is to exist as, a, as an individual human being who is white, per se. Okay, you have a speci- you have a lot of minority sub caucasoid controllers using whiteness against the structure of of the white human being. And this has been the this is the plan all along is the devil is using the worst of hybridization, the worst of humanity, the worst of the human umbrella to control everything that that is of any human essence or soul's witness and and it doesn't even have like i said it's it 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 has nothing to do with the color at all this is a superficial very diabolical argument to say if it were actually this way um which they attempt to keep people uh deceived in this manner when we're talking about essentially this antifa ideology um this is anything but because when you look at the 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 true individual human being the human being, the structure of the human being is essentially very different from what we see in the world today. The human being is essentially introverted, more introverted, more intuitive, more exploratory, more self-preservational um, in, terms of, in terms of family orientation, where the, the powers that be come from bloodlines and species that are based on the mind collective, based on an outside-in perspective of control, uh, is based on the, the 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 preservation of its own bloodlines at the usury of others. So when something go when something bad is essentially created, it's created to benefit specific bloodlines and and species at the top. All the while, uh, meant to destroy and belittle the human individual human beings of respective human bloodlines at the bottom. And this is why race relations are so be- so bad across the board when we're talking about nationally or internationally. Is it's not it's only a false argument to use color or even race because race is race is defined by the 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 supposed powers of be covering the human umbrella as uh, the superficial color of a person or or, or ethnicity. But that's only a false enlightenment of usury against the individual human being that actually makes up specific race, ethnicities, cultures, creeds, religions. Okay, so we do have, this is always the case, is we as individual human beings need to define the future of human existence from an individual human point of view and not let the human umbrella and the scope of minority infiltration into the overall umbrella define who we are and how we uh, should remain sovereign to our cultures, ethnicities, uh, and so on. So, I hope you guys can see the argument being made here. Is this is the end times. This is a spiritual war. But we also see that there is a war going on to not... See, what you mean, there, there's not a war for humanity. Humanity's already been co-opted genetically. There is a war for the individual human beings who make up these races, colors, and creeds to remove them and destroy them because, they, because we contain the genetic spiritual aspect to receive God. Essentially, it's another way of saying that the complete human being has the witness of the Holy Spirit in his or her life, which I believe is very true. Now, like I've said, I, I've, I listen to podcasts every once in a while talking about how people are either for or against the destruction of, say, white people. 
it's a very unclear and vague argument on who we're talking about uh, up to this point. Is uh, it's not about the what; it's about the why. Who and, and really, you know, the why is is talking about. I have to allude to the fact that what white people are we talking about? Why them? And and that's why the it's the white human being. Uh, as well as the black human being, as well as the brown human being, that these powers of be want to destroy at an individual level. They want to destroy human beings because of what they contain. The gene- And that's why I'm saying this argument is better defined from a species point of view than a race point of view. Because a race point of view gives them all types of leeway to defining and twisting of truth um, when we're talking about... Um, what's really happening on the ground and why the human being is at the bottom of the pyramid draconian system and why the reptile is at the top of the system, okay? And this is also why I believe the why of faith is, is this argument, the existential argument is important to the why of faith because we already know what we have to do in, in going to God. But we, we have to answer why it's this way. And I believe there's a physical component always to the spiritual component because we're talking about carnality here. We're talking about different spiritual sources being attached to this dimension, this carnality. And a part of this carnality is the human flesh, is the bloodlines, is the genetic makeup of certain people groups. So what they want to do is they want to count you out. They want to stick us all under the umbrella of the same race, we're, uh, of races. They want to they want to define us strictly on on color and use it against us because th- these other species can invade color they can they can go into color and become that as an empty vessel and they are that that's why you have so many gang stalkers around you these are other species but when we get down to the true existential point of understanding we understand that the spiritual implication involves flesh it involves genetics period. Anybody who tells you, and that's why I, I personally enjoy the what, that kind of, the message. I lo- I enjoy the message of, of receiving of God, God's word, because that is the what of the argument. That is what we are to do as uh, human beings, as individuals. But I, I like to pose the existential on why. The why. Now, if, if you're here and you, you, you've gone through the what, and you, you're there, and you're having, you may or may not are being challenged by this, that's not a bad thing. That you're trying to still make understanding of why you're going through gang stalking. You know, why you're a targeted individual. Why? And I'm, I'm giving you the why. The why is the fact that you and I have a genetic, spiritual expression that has, in terms of, we've been created to receive the Holy Spirit. We have been created to receive a relationship with God as our Creator, as our Lord and Savior. Now, and this is so, people find it so hard to understand because we see that that Christ says when He talks to the Pharisees in the Bible, He says their father is Satan, but He also refers to him as a serpent. That's a physical fallen nature, not just a spiritual. A lot of Christians see the ones who are always about the what, will say this serpent is, is, is purely physical, it's purely spiritual. And it's not. It's actually um, purely physical before it's spiritual. The, the physical elicits the spiritual response of what will be attached to the vessel, ultimately, uh, in one's existence. Now, like I said, the reptilian is a, a predominant R-complex being uh, that make up, and the R-complex which, which makes up the powers that be. And it makes up the minority infiltration of subspecies that that attempt to define the human umbrella for the individual human beings of specific races, colors, and creeds. Okay, while the ones at the bottom, the true human beings, we elicit the genetic spiritual expression of our Father. That's why Christ, the Christ, Christ and his disciples were of a different species than the Pharisees. The Pharisees were of their they were a different species, and people people will say it was it, 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 they chose it. Well, they choose. I really believe they choose it from a from a what argument, um, but from a why argument, 
you'd have to say, why do they choose it from a what argument? They choose it because of a species differentiation between uh, our complex and, and uh, human intuition or human genetic spiritual expression. And so now we can understand the why of this argument. Why is it so important, the why of, uh, of species delineation as compared to race relations and why you will never win an argument based on race relations because they're stuck on the indoctrination of, of, of worldly teaching and worldly indoctrination and world theology. And so uh, it's easier for a species to invade races of people. They can invade color, colors of a vessel, and dominate an entire uh, human, ap uh, human genome, a human apparatus uh, by this way. And it's false enlightenment. It's not in light of... God's best interest for you and God's will for your life. So hopefully I've answered the best of why, the why of your faith. It's because who you are resonates with receiving the Holy Spirit and God's will for your life. So guys, go to the existential way. Um, don't stop, guys. Do not stop spiritually. Once you know this, once you know this, once you know the why, the what is going to take care of itself. You're going to gain insur assurance uh, you're going to be existing in that eternal hope, that, uh, that eternal constancy that God would have for your life. Know this, guys. Know that uh, it, when you change yourself, you're changing the world around you. The, it's a totally inside-out perspective as compared to the umbrella definitions that supposed uh, uh, powers that be would have in defining you as an individual human being. So break free from that mold and uh, join me at the existential way. All right, guys. Godspeed. Till the next one.